Hi guys, this is Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome. Today is a video tutorial for the Primrose Stitch. It's a stitch tutorial only. So this is if you would like to use it in any kind of creation that you would like to come up with. If you would like to see this worked up in a project, I have a tutorial for a Primrose Scrubby. So I will link that video tutorial in the description here if you wanted to use the this stitch in a scrubby design. This is all my chicken scratch, so I certainly understand if you don't understand this. We're going to go through it all together. But I will be using for this demonstration Big Twist Heather. And of course it has to be Heather because that's me. I'm Heather. And this colorway is Rose. And this stitch works up beautifully in this yarn. I want to make something now using this yarn with the Primrose stitch. So we'll see, maybe there'll be another tutorial for something else that comes out in the future. But for now, it's just the scrubby and the stitch tutorial. This is the stitch tutorial. So to make this, you chain in multiples of three and then you add two stitches. So I was thinking of doing 15 and then add two stitches, which would make it 17 total. Very dumb cutting accident is leading to this, but it's bleeding a lot, so I have to leave it on. Stupidly enough, it was from cutting a roll. One, two, three, four, Actually, let me chain the 15 and then come back. This isn't focusing, there we go. So I need, uh, we'll pause it, chain the 15 and then come back. All right, so I chained 17. The 15 was multiples of three and then you add two stitches to that. So the way it starts is in the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, we're gonna do a single crochet chain two, and then single crochet again in that same chain. Skip two chains. In that third chain, you're going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet. We're gonna keep following that pattern until we get to the end. The very last stitch will be different. So skip two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Skip two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all in that same chain. Skip two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Okay, now there's two chains left, so we're gonna skip one and put a half double crochet in the very last chain, and then turn. Okay, for the next row, we chain three. One, two, three, and we're going to do three double crochets in each chain space across. One, two, three. Next chain space. One, two, three. Chain space. One, two, three. Next chain space. One, two, three. Okay, one more chain.
chain space. going to put a double crochet in that very last spot. Turn. All right, next we're getting close to the repeat. We're going to chain two. And then you're going to skip two and then do your it should be, we're going to always do this in the middle of the three double crochet cluster. Okay, so when we get to this one, you're going to do it again in the middle double crochet. It should work out that you would chain, you would skip two stitches each time. So we'll go to that middle stitch, skip two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that same stitch. Now, if we skip two, one, two, yep, that puts us right in that middle double crochet of that three double crochet cluster. Oops, sorry, I was looking through my camera again instead of looking at my hands. My hands sometimes wander off the camera if I'm not looking at the camera. There we go. Let me try that again. Skip two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Okay, skip two, that puts us right in the middle, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, skip two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, Skip two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and then a half double crochet in this last chain of the chain three. Oops. Okay, so now we just repeat. This is looking so pretty already. Look at that primrose stitch. We repeat two and three. If you can read my chicken scratch, you're welcome to take a picture of this to have it. But I am going to go through maybe at least one more repeat of this, if not two, just to see, make sure that you've got it. And then we'll have it down packed. So we chain three and then put three double crochets in each chain space. I am thinking this would also work up nicely in a blanket because look at how much length we're getting in a short amount of time. This heather yarn is really soft. I enjoy working with this so much. Okay, and then just one double crochet in the last stitch. Okay, now to the next. This would be row three again, chain two. And this is where we do our single crochet, two chain single crochet every other stitch. So we skip two, we're in the middle double crochet of the three double crochet cluster. Single crochet, chain two, 
single crochet, skip two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, skip two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, skip two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, skip two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and then end with a half double crochet in the last stitch. Okay, let's turn. I'm going to do one more row here to show you how the pattern is really working up. Chain three and then three double crochets in each chain space. This would be a pretty mindless uh, pattern once you get it down to do too if you wanted to make a blanket with this. Also make a really pretty sweater stitch. There are just a lot of possibilities. You might be seeing me do more tutorials with this stitch. As of the making of this, which is March 25th, 2024, there's only this one, this uh, stitch tutorial and then the scrubby. But you never know. Keep an eye for more projects out Keep an eye out for more projects made with this stitch. Then double crochet in the last chain of the chain three. All right, let's take a look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. And look at how tall that swatch is already, just in this quick video. I know we did a small swatch, but still, it, it grew pretty fast with each row. I hope you enjoyed this stitch. If you make anything with it, let me know. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.